Where is Bardock's bandana in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2? Or the mask, Saiyan mask for that example. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, or at least Dragon Ball Xenoverse, has existed for eight years and has had the accessory slot option for those eight years. Yet we still don't have Bardock's bandana or Bardock's Saiyan mask when he's the masked Saiyan. And the reason I bring this up is because in Dragon Ball The Breakers, a while ago, they gave out Bardock's items as a, you know, general cosmetic for the players to have. And what was in the cosmetic patch? There was also Bardock's bandana. Now, we haven't received the Saiyan mask, but I know for a fact Dragon Ball The Breakers is also going to get that before the universe too. Because that Bardock uh, update for Dragon Ball The Breakers was actually ages ago. In fact, I think it might even be a year older now. Um, so, I wanted to talk about just Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 cosmetics in general, mostly Bardock's bandana, as well as the mask, Saiyan mask, as well as the Xenoverse uh, one patroller-like mask, right? Remember when the patroller becomes evil for that section of the game? And yeah, you know, all that good stuff. So I want to talk about some of these accessories and how, potentially, there's actually a chance for the next-gen update to fix this, thanks to the close, close link that Dragon Ball The Breakers and Xenoverse 2 do actually have. Now, for anyone who knows any of the moves Dragon Ball The Breakers has been making, you know that Dragon Ball The Breakers has a lot, a lot, a lot. I think that Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 fans have actually been asking for, such as hair physics, different hairstyles for your different Super Saiyan forms, different Super Saiyan form hairstyles based on your character's already existing hairstyle, actually spiked up hair, ha hair physics what in Super Saiyan, having like different, like, you know, Dragon Ball The Breakers has a lot of stuff. God, Whis's outfit is in Dragon Ball The Breakers? It's not in Xenoverse 2. Dragon Ball The Breakers has so much more customization than Xenoverse 2 as well, to the point where it's actually just, like, not comparable. I think you can already say Dragon Ball The Breakers has better customization than Xenoverse 2, other than the fact that Xenoverse 2 has access to different races, such as the Freezers, the Female Margins, the Mechians, etc, etc. But they actually all get done worse than Saiyans do, and Saiyans already get done pretty dirty. For example, we still don't have moving Saiyan tails in Xenoverse 2. Now, I guarantee you for a fact, if they were to show up in Breakers, they'd move. Um, but don't worry, don't worry, as bad as it sounds for us Xenoverse 2 fans, I do think the next-gen update, despite the fact that it is doing very little for Xenoverse 2, from our knowledge, from what we've seen, all it does is add grass to the map of Xenoverse 2. Kind of underwhelming, but it'd be like that sometimes. Um, while it doesn't look like it adds too much, I do think it'll actually add things in the minor places. Now, I don't think that Saiyans will actually get, for example, different Super Saiyan hairstyles when they transform. I think that might be too much for Xenoverse 2. Again, I, my, my, my best advice with Xenoverse 2, keep your expectations low. But I do believe we should actually get um, hair physics in Xenoverse 2's next-gen update. There's no way we wouldn't, because it's already done in Breakers, and it's very easy to do in Breakers, to the point where they can, they can render hair physics for several characters moving around the map at the same time. Um, so I don't see why it would be too hard to do it for Xenoverse 2. Uh, custom characters don't have hair physics, by the way. I need to say that. Original characters do have hair physics. Just custom characters don't have hair physics in Xenoverse 2. But in Breakers, they do. And they have hair physics for their new spiked-up Super Saiyan hair variants as well. Which is actually more hair than what would be in Xenoverse. So, I'm thinking next-gen update should actually predictably do that. But when it comes to more than just Super Saiyan forms, hair physics, you know, all that stuff. We, we're talking about the accessories, right? That's the main point. What accessories can we expect to see? Probably... Uh, an ocean of accessories. Dragon Ball The Breakers also has Patara. They have Time Rings. They have Angel Halos. Like, they, they, got, they got so many different accessories um, available for custom characters in Dragon Ball The Breakers that we don't have in Xenoverse 2. Another one I want to come back to real quick is the Bardock Bandana. Now, I do believe Bardock's Bandana, as well as his whole, uh, like, I guess, uh, set, was released in Season 2 of Dragon Ball The Breakers. I say Season 2 because I feel like I don't remember Bardock in Season 3 of Dragon Ball The Breakers. But either way, uh, Season 2 of Dragon Ball The Breakers released Bardock's parts for the game, including his bandana. And Breakers fans got to mess around with his bandana, as well as, you know, a bunch of other stuff like Whis closes as Xenoverse 2 fans didn't have. And they were very upset, for lack of a better word. Xenoverse 2 fans have been asking... Well, Xenoverse fans in general have been asking for it for a long time. You'd think you'd get it in Xenoverse 1, right? Nope, they just went straight to Revival of F stuff. Uh, okay, well, surely in Xenoverse 2, right? Nope. Uh, maybe in the first DLC, nope. Maybe in the second, nope. Maybe in the 10th DLC, nope. Maybe in the 16th, nope. We still don't have Bardock's Bandana in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And again, we're not asking for physics on the damn thing. We just want to see the goddamn bandana on our characters. It's a really good way to fill out our character's headspace design, as well as look immaculate when you go into Super Saiyan forms, right? Could you imagine Super Saiyan Blues rocking that red bandana around their head with a nice character design outfit to match? That would look flames, but we don't have that in Xenoverse 2. And uh, we we may still not, but the next one update, again, is our best bet since Dragon Ball The Rick and Xenoverse 2 have such similar slash same assets that we actually know that Goku Black is going to have a scythe in a future Xenoverse 2 DLC because the files for the scythe are in Breakers and reference Xenoverse 2. It's wild stuff, I know. I should put the relevant images on the screen for that now. Um, so 
yeah, kind of insane uh, that Breakers uh, Breakers has so many things that do pertain to Xenoverse 2. But I do hope that, obviously, again, if they can transfer something as important as an entire Scythe attack over from Breakers to Xenoverse, they should easily be able to do Bardock to Bandana. But not only is Bardock to Bandana, like, I guess, not just... It's not just, like, it's a, it's a great thing to have. Breakers also has four accessory slots available. Xenoverse, since the beginning, has only ever had one. You can have one sword cosmetic on your back. You can have one wig. You can have one glasses. You can have one beard. You can have one scouter. You can't do one like hair accessory, even one scouter. Or like glasses and then like a sword on your back, you know? Breakers can make it so that you have, uh, I don't know, like Weiss's halo, the Grand Priest's halo on, a time ring, a Patara on, a scouter. You know what I mean? You can, you can have messed up combinations. You can have angel wings. Piccolo's Turban, uh, Angel uh, Halo, Time Ring. There's so many goddamn I, There's so many options in Breakers, I actually can't begin. I don't know where to start when it comes... You know, I'll probably show them on screen while I'm talking now. At least gives you guys something to look at as well with uh, the many, many, many accessory options in Breakers. It's insane. Oh, that reminds me. You can also have backpacks. I do remember Xenoverse 2 actually did copy Breakers and just added some of Breakers' backpacks into Xenoverse 2 to, um, to kind of, I guess, fill out the accessory slots, right? Um... Which is insane. I, in all honesty, I think Xenoverse 2 should just get all of Breaker's accessories. Maybe you, you could say, maybe you'll make the game files too big. Because maybe it's really unoptimized. And I would believe you. Because it's, you know, without, without something rude, it's banned and I'm condemned. But at the same time, I, it just doesn't feel right. I feel like Xenoverse 2 is objectively always going to be the game that more people play. And no one's going to play Breaker's just to have the, like, bandana accessory for Bodok. Because I don't think you can even get it anymore. If you play Breakers right now, you can't get a bandana for Bardock. I'm so, for your, the Bardock bandana for your characters, I'm so sorry. That was a like a limited time thing from the Battle Pass, I do believe. They could have put it in the store now because they, they, did, they didn't move a lot of stuff into the game store. But again, I don't know. That's like real life money you have to pay for or like way too many like weeks of grinding just to get one bandana. And I, I don't know. That sounds, that, sounds like, that sounds like it's not worth it to me. Um, but yeah, it, it'd just be nice to have uh, extra accessory slots in Xenoverse 2 as well. Again, I don't know if the next gen update will actually do extra accessory slots. I do think they'll do stuff like Saiyan, like moving Saiyan tails and hair physics and uh, a few extra accessories. But I don't think I'll have four accessory slots. Not only is Xenoverse 2 kind of a different beast altogether, but due to the way you can build certain characters, again, Breakers and have Namekian trees as ETC, right? So they don't have to ever worry about the extra accessories clashing with different body types, since everyone in Breakers pretty much has the same body type. Um, but it's just... The fact that I don't, I don't, I maybe Xenoverse 2 would actually lag harder or suffer more clutter if there was more like garbage on a person's like design, you know what I mean? Like, you could be fighting someone and they could be running like the Ox King's helmet with Cocoon set, which would add an extra mask under their face and then a tail that they don't need. And then I think Bogamo also has a set too. Um, then you could also add that with the Cell Max set or like some other obnoxiously large accessory. And you then just get a character that's kind of hard to look at and probably does lag the game even harder. Um, so I, I can understand that the university doesn't do multiple accessories, but it's like, I don't know, it's it's kind of weird to just not have it, you know? Like, in your big Dragon Ball custom character game, I feel like that's the one that should be getting more attention um, so when, it, when it comes to at least, like, cosmetics and accessories and stuff. So that's always just been at least just a tiny bit wild to me, you know? And I should say with the mask, Saiyan mask, I don't know if that will ever actually become an accessory. It does seem very unique to Bardock, but this isn't the first time they've just given stuff that have been unique to other characters to the player. For example, uh, custom characters both have Beast and Ultra Instinct, which are only on one other character in uh, in the you know in the Dragon Ball series. I ended up getting Ultra Instinct because you know Ultra Instinct has been out for like six years. Whenever Dragon Ball Super ended, right? It's been out for seven, six years. But Beast was like, it's kind of recent, and we got that before Ultra Instinct. So it's clever that they don't really care about things being exclusive to certain characters. Hell, they even gave us Janemba Sword and updated the way it looks, so that it looks more accurate to the way Janemba, uh, to the way it looks when Janemba uses it. So it's like, it's just it's just wild that they wouldn't give us Mask Saiyan's Mask, especially because it's not like they don't know how to do Mask. We also have Gas Masks in the game, the Angle Mask, uh, Grandpa Gohan's Mask. We got so many goddamn Masks in the game, you know? But I think this will be a good place to end the video. Again, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below because I do believe that the next gen update of Xenoverse 2 can easily add all of this, especially because it's Breakers actually does reference Xenoverse future content having some of these things as well, like the Goku Black Scythe. So again, you guys let me know, but that'll be a good place to end the video again. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like on the video though, because grabs a greatly supports the channel. And leave a comment down below as to what you'd like to see next. Love you all, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Take care and uh, peace.